Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new here. My name is Mariah, and I'm a mama to a six-month-old little boy named Silas. In today's video, I'm going to cover our cloth diapering routine, all the things that I've learned, what we do, how we do it, things like types of diapers, washing, drying, changing, whatever we do here at home, you will see it. I would just like to make a quick disclaimer that we just started cloth diapering a little over a month ago and we do not cloth diaper full time. So anytime we're out in public, he's in a disposable and when he goes to bed, he's in a disposable. I just want to put that out there because my advice and routine will probably look a little bit different than someone who's been cloth diapering for, you know, months and months or years and years. But this is what works for us and how we kind of do things around here at the house. First things first, let's talk cloth diapers. So there's a ton of different types of cloth diapers that are actually out on the market. They range from like snaps, velcros, pocket diapers, pre-folds, all-in-ones. The list goes on and on. There's tons of different ways of cloth diapering as well. But that's something you can kind of research and figure out what works best for you and your family. We personally chose to use the pocket diaper. I knew from the very beginning of my research that this is what was going to work best for us. They're the most customizable in regards to absorbency and I find that although they take a little bit more work they're the easiest to clean or the one that I feel more <laughs> most comfortable cleaning so this is the pocket diaper the brand that we use is mama koala we have several different brands we have some that were gifted to us some that were made and lent to us and then of course like the ones that we purchased uh, mama koala I find is the best quality for their price. They're pretty affordable and they're pretty good. So pretty much this is the basic layout of the cloth diaper. They're a little thick, so you can kind of see. They have um, like a waterproof outer shell. You can kind of see in here, it has like a little rubber lining. I don't know if you can see that. It has a rubber lining. And then on the inside, it has like a nice soft area. This is what touches your baby's skin. And it also has a bajillion snaps. So what we love about these diapers is they are a one size diaper. Pretty much that means that they can be used from newborn to toddlers. You can adjust the rise which would make the diaper smaller. If you need it bigger, just release all the snaps. It also has all these snaps up here which those are used to help with getting a proper fit around your baby's waist. They have these elastics on both legs. They're very tight. It has an elastic here in the back as well and a pocket. Hence why they call it a pocket diaper. So in this pocket diaper, you have your insert. These bad boys will make or break your diapering. This is the one that comes with the Mama Koala diapers. It's a microfiber insert and it works well. It's completely adjustable so you can have it snaps together. You have a newborn, medium, and large diaper. These are pretty good. I get about an hour and a half hold, and that's mostly because Silas is a very, very heavy wetter. The medication that he takes has him peeing all the time. So where I may only get an hour and a half hold, you might get more, but it's all dependent on your baby's needs. Now, this is what I love about these pocket diapers is I know if I get only an hour or an hour and a half hold on these and I'm needing more time, you can always just double up. Now you will have to buy um, extra inserts. Every cloth diaper that I've researched, every pocket diaper, they come with some sort of insert. So some have bamboo, some have microfiber, whatever it may be. If you want or need more absorbency, you will need to buy those on your own. But the good thing is that you don't need to buy an actual insert. You can use uh, extra receiving blankets you have. You can use wash rag. You can use a t-shirt folded up. You can really use anything to put in here and add some absorbency. Now, I did buy extra inserts because I already knew how much of a heavy wetter Silas is. So we personally love these. They're charcoal bamboo inserts. And what I love about them is that they do hold a lot better than most inserts that I've tried. And also, since these things literally catch all the liquids, all the pee, all the poop liquids, um, they don't stain, which I love. Now, I would like to mention that whatever insert you choose, even if it's the best, most absorbent insert, don't expect to be able to go, you know, five or six hours without changing a diaper. Um, regardless of how much your baby pees, you have to think of it as once this gets soaked, once whatever insert you're using gets soaked, it's like a rag. If you squeeze it, 
the liquid's gonna come out. So sometimes carrying your baby, putting them in their jumper or their car seat, or even just their positioning can, you know, squeeze these a little bit and some liquid will leak out. Now what I'm gonna show you next is not a requirement, but they're a lifesaver in my opinion. Pretty much what this does is it catches all the solids. You can just flush down your poop. I personally choose to throw them away because I have an older house, so our plumbing's not the greatest. But they come in 100 sheets per row, and I believe it's like a two or a three pack on Amazon, and it's like 25 bucks. If you do use these, of course, cloth diapering is going to cost a little bit more, but this is so much cheaper than buying a box of diapers every month. Okay, so when you're changing a cloth diaper, you're literally going to grab your diaper. Um, mine's already set on his size setting, which is the first little snap. And I'm actually going to place a liner in here. It goes right over the diaper like this. And it acts sort of like a strainer. Like all the chunky, nasty poop stays up here. And all the juices kind of leak through here. What I like to do, if he lets me, I like to set everything up. And pretty much what I do is I like to do the bottom buckle first. Because um, I can see leg wise like you don't want this area to be too tight but you don't want it to be too loose either so i always do the bottom one first and if i feel like i need to adjust the size then i will um, both sides feel good so i buckle the top and after that i just want to make sure that everything's kind of smooth around his body um, just for his comfort and I like to tuck this little fabric um, sometimes I tuck it down sometimes I tuck it up it just depends but I feel like it just looks better um, the diapers all smooth now you do this just like you do a disposal disposable diaper you make sure that the little ruffles are out or the little elastics are out to make sure that everything gets caught because there will be poop I wanted to show you guys what a leak looked like. This is about three hours of him not being changed. Uh, I changed him, put him down for a nap, and well, when he woke up, he had leaked through. It's not terrible, so they can get worse, but I just want you to see what they look like so you know when you are leaking. You can kind of see right here. You see it up at the top. You can kind of see it in the leg. Uh, looks like he's only leaking from one side, which is the side he was sleeping on. And you always know when it's a leak and not just like a drool spot because it'll follow the seam of something. So you probably can't see it, but it's actually wet here too. I don't know if you can kind of see that. It's wet here too. Okay, so this diaper does have a little bit of poop. It's not much, but I'll be able to show you guys how I handle poop situations, it's different for everybody, I will say that. But this is what I found works best for me. And I'm telling you, these inserts or these liners are, they're a lifesaver. Like seriously, lifesaver. So then I'll go ahead and change them again. You grab a diaper. And you can kind of see it better. This is a better angle than that last one. The little poop catcher. If you don't want to see poop, I'd fast forward now. So this is a diaper I just changed. I'm going to open it so you can see what it looks like. It does have poop. So like I said, if you want to fast forward, fast forward now. So I used wipes like normal. In here, you can see all the chunky poop stayed in the liner. And just a little bit of like juices and stuff gets through. So what I do with this... Typically, I'm not touching it like that, but for video purposes. So what I do with this, put it right here my little diaper pail. Let it fall inside. Oops. You can see there's a little bit on the back, a little bit of solid and that's what i need to get rid of i come over to my diaper pail remove the insert this one's going to be soaked because of course it was a much longer pee 
it's hard to do this with one hand. There we go. So I take this bad boy, drop it in there, and I take the poopy diaper doo, 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 over to the restroom. This is the part that you're gonna have to decide what works best for you. There's people that do the dunk and swish method. So basically you take the diaper, put it in the toilet, move it around until all the poop comes off. That's gross to me. No matter how many times I clean my toilet, it's just, it's gross. So I can do that. They also sell, I'll insert a picture, a diaper sprayer that you just kind of hold the diaper over the toilet, spray the poop off. But since our poops are very minimal, like the, the messiness, I just choose to wash them in my sink the same way that I would a blowout outfit or whatever. Um, it's gross to some people, but it is what it is, you know? So pretty much what I do is I turn on the water, go to the poop area, and kind of just rub it around. So after about 30 seconds of doing that, your diaper will look like this. That usually comes out within the wash. I do like to wring them out once again. People think it's gross, but I do like to wring it out so that I can eliminate some moisture, wash my hands. Then I head back to the room and drop it in. We use the Costco brand detergent to wash cloth diapers you can only use a certain like certain types i don't remember exactly what it is that it has like the detergent has to have that'll be able to break down like all those bodily fluid stuff i'll link the website that i went to that kind of explained everything like detergents washer washing time everything it's called fluff love university um some people love it some people hate it but it works well for us so our detergent is approved, our normal detergent. So what I do when it comes to washing is I bring my pail that has all the smelly diapers. There is a slight odor to your diapers. Um, there's people that store in mesh bags so that the diapers can breathe. But since I wash like every three-ish days, like every third day, I don't feel the need to do that because I'm washing so frequently. Um, the mesh can like help prevent mold, like lingering smells and stuff. But this is how I do them because I don't really want to smell poop and pee. But they do have like, you know, a normal pee odor or poop odor. Not as bad as like a diaper genie. So that's the plus. But so what I do is, let me show. Okay, so I grab a pail. And the liner fits perfectly on this pill. I just take it off. I basically just flip it inside out in there. So I kind of just push it along. So you can, some people wash their liners, some people don't. I personally like to. Close it up. I add about half a cap. I put it on quick wash with an extra rinse. I like the wash temp to be warm for the first cycle and a high spin speed. So I'll go ahead and start that. And now we're on our second wash cycle. For that one, I put a full cap of detergent on heavy duty, hot temperature, high spin speed. And I don't have an extra rinse on that one. Okay, so after everything's done washing, I put it all in here so it's easier for me to reach. But what you wanna do is hang all of your covers. You can, you can dry them, technically you can dry them on low heat, but you run the risk of messing up the elastic and once your elastic is shot, then your whole diaper is no good, so. In the dryer, you can see I have only inserts. I've hung all of my covers and my wet bags. 
You don't wanna dry these either because they will begin to peel. One thing that I wanna mention quickly is that you do not wanna put any form of dryer sheet in your dryer with your inserts or any kind of fabric softener whenever you're washing them because it will mess with the absorbency of your diaper. Now when it comes to stuff in your diaper, it's pretty simple. I have a few different inserts here so I can show you. Um, these are actually pre-folds for a different type of cloth diapering style. I actually had bought them to use as burp cloths, but we never ended up using them, so now they make a good little insert. So I'll show you one with just a single insert, one doubled up, and then one with this bath towel that I'm going to use. And I'm just doing this to show you that you can literally put anything in there in case, you know, you don't have enough inserts. I'm going to start with the single insert. The first thing you want to do is make sure that your cloth diaper is already adjusted to about the size that you think your baby will be. Um, Silas is on the second snap here. So it's on the second snap. So he's wearing about a medium sized diaper. And you want to take the insert and hold it like this. So you want the soft side facing up and your arm on the bottom side. Put your hand through the pocket with the soft side facing the soft side and your arm facing the outside. Just kind of pull it through. When you get to the top, you can kind of just adjust here. Pinch it from up here and pull your hand out. Now in the back of the diaper, there's a little lip. Not all diapers have this, but this specific brand does. You just kind of tuck it into that lip, and there we go. Now if you need to double up on anything, you can take your pre-fold and your insert, pull through, and there you have this one. Now in the case that you didn't have any of your inserts clean, sometimes they're in the wash or whatever, um, you can take just a regular towel and you want to fold it up to about the width of a normal insert and you want this side to be facing down the smooth side against baby so you would do the same thing when it comes to storing your cloth diapers there's a lot of different methods on how people choose to store them I'm going to show you how much thicker they are than a regular disposable diaper. So they're a little tougher to store when it comes to space. Um, some people choose to fold them and snap them. Some people will roll them. I personally like to leave them flat just like this. I just stack them up and then I just place them inside of a basket. Now this basket usually stays on my nightstand or on my dresser, wherever I am, it usually is. I also have a basket out in the living room and just a pile of them in his bedroom. So the biggest question I always get is, does it actually save you money? And in my personal opinion, it does. We can go ahead and do the math real quick. Keep in mind that everybody's numbers will look different based on the brand of diapers and how many you go through a day. So for us, we use about eight diapers a day, and with approximately 30 days in a month, we end up using around 240 diapers. We do buy our Huggies from Costco, so they're a little bit cheaper, but we roughly spend about 46 bucks on them. So 46 bucks times the 12 months in a year puts us right at our grand total of 552. Our cloth diapers we wash roughly every two to three days and find that 35 diapers is more than enough to get us through. So I'm gonna base my math off of that. I found affordable packs of diapers. They usually come in a six pack and they usually range between 35 and $65. So 35 divided by six equals roughly 5.8 packs. And I just went ahead and rounded that up to six. So you'll need six, six packs of cloth diapers six times 35 to 65 dollars it gives you a grand old total of 210 to 390 dollars for 36 brand new cloth diapers 
That's literally a one-time cost for not only one child, but also multiple children from newborn through potty training. So of course, I would always recommend to try to find these things secondhand if that's something you feel comfortable with. But if not, then there's always affordable ways to get what you need. And at the end of the day, it's all about weighing out the pros and the cons. So some of the pros that I have found is they save you money, they're made easy, they're customizable, they have super cute patterns, and to top it all off, they're great for the environment. Now some cons you might be looking at are things like they cost more upfront, there's a learning curve in regards to washing or fitting, and of course the laundry time that it's gonna take. It's gonna take some extra time, some extra effort, detergent, water. At the end of the day, you just have to figure out if it's something that's worth it to you. If you have any questions that I didn't address, then leave them in a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.